And 1500 points of Necrons versus Tyranids. To go through the Necrons first, I've got two patrols uh, led by my Warlord, uh, the Overlord here. He's got the Relic Resurrection Orb and the um, Staff of Light. He's got Enduring Will, so um, to basically makes him a bit more durable. We've got the Plasmancer with his Cryptothrows. I've given him the, <laughs> if I can say this, Metallodermal Tesla Weave, which means at the end of the charge step of your opponent's charge phase, you can select one enemy unit that's finished charge within six inches of the bearer of this. Roll a d6 on two plus the enemy unit suffers d3 mortal wounds. So the closer you get to him, the worse he gets. Uh, we've got a squad of ten warriors with gauze flares. Canoptic reanimator. I don't care what people say, I like it. Um, squad of scarabs and death marks and then with them we have a doom scythe ready to fly around and knock out some of these big monsters before they get to me probably while the rest of mine get eaten by the little griblies in my other patrol we've got a scorpec lord accompanied by three corpec scorpec destroyers sorry and the plasma site to buff them 10 warriors with gorse uh, reapers and Royal Warden, I've paid the command point to give him the Veil of Darkness. So these guys are going to be just popping up somewhere random. More Scarabs and another Doom Scythe. Ha ha ha. So that is, the, um, that is the army. In terms of my um, what I've gone for for my, what do you want to call it? I'm absolutely blanking today. I don't know what is up with me. My dynastic traits, I'm going to find it because I want to know what they were called and I can't remember. So, there we go. Masters of the Marshal. Each unit with this code, um, each time a unit with this code is selected to shoot or fight, you can re-roll one hit roll when making that unit's attack. And I've given them a healthy paranoia, add three inch range to the characteristics of ranged weapons, excluding pistols, that models with this code are equipped with. So that's most of the army. Obviously the um, Cryptothrowers, they're shooting counters as pistols, so that's fine. Uh, there we go. That is, fifth, well, 1485 points of Necrons. Okay, so we have a squad of 10 Hormigants with Adrenal Glands and Toxin Sacks. We have a squad of 20 Gene Stealers. I was missing two, so I'm subbing in two Hormigants to pretend to be Gene Stealers today. Counts as. Counts Absolutely as. fine. And then I have 10 Gargoyles. Just quickly saying, the Gene Stealers do have Adrenal Glands, but they don't have Toxin Sacks. Other way around. Oh, other way around, actually. They have toxin sex, but not adrenal glands. There we go. And the brood lord is a brood lord. Yes. Then, then I've got my swarm lord. I have my three hive guard. I've got my three tyranid warriors with venom cannon, double bone swords, double bone swords, and death spitter, bone sword and lash whip, and death spitter. I have an exocrine, and I have two carnifexes, both with tusks, spore cysts, and chitin thorns, as well as adrenal glands, if I remember correctly. Yes, and a bone mace on the tail. Yep, because I prefer it over the thresher scythe. There we go. And, and that is... My army. My army. We'll get set up, and we'll come back. Okay, Necron set up. We've got Doom Scythe, Warriors with Reapers, and Royal Warden on this flank. It's quite empty over here. I fully intend to empty out the nids that are over on that side. Everything else is over here. Um, and you'll see something quite similar in a second from the two. In fact, I'll just show you now. So we've got Carnifex's Swarm Lord, Gene Stealers, Brood Lord, Exocrine, and then you've got Warriors, Hive Guard, and Hormigants over there. 
and the gargoyles are waiting, fluttering up in the air, ready to come down before they get killed. Um, I do need to be aware of them in terms of board control, but to be honest, 10 gargoyles aren't going to cause me that many problems. Um, so this is going to be interesting. Uh, we've already rolled off Seagos first. Jack had the choice and let me have first turn, which potentially foolish, but we shall see. Um, I will say if this video ends up being really short, then um, we'll, we'll, we'll probably redo it another time because we can probably shove in a load more jeans dealers and stuff, but we'll see. So I will be now revealing my first um, command protocol, which I've done so high tech on these little bits of paper. So we are, first of all, number one, that is protocol of the eternal guardian. And I'll be taking directive two. Each time an enemy unit declares a charge against this unit, if this unit is not within engagement range of any enemy units, it can either hold steady or set to defend. So it can improve its overwatch. So if those gene stealers survive and are thrown right into my face and I overwatch, I'm going to be doing more damage to them. Right, so that is Necron turn one. Uh, in my command phase, I got back up to 12 CP. Again, I'm not very good at using them. And the reanimator will be putting its um, reanimation beam onto this squad of warriors. And the um, overlord will be putting my will be done onto the warrior as well, giving them a hitting on plus, well, giving them a plus one to hit. We'll come back after my movement. Okay, so left flank's moved up. Plasma's, um, Plasma's has just gone back there for now. Scorpex are gunning for those Karn effects. Warriors have moved up with the Overlord. I'm trying to keep my Scarabs safe because I love Scarabs and they have to survive. Deathmarks haven't moved, but they've got a bead on the Broodlord. Be hilarious if I can take him out turn one. Uh, Reanimator's moved up to keep it with the Warriors. Again, uh, I will be helpful on this because obviously I'm using a new Codex army against Tyranids. Um, so if he dies, they don't get the buff from him. If he's listening, we'll go with that. Um, Royal Warden and his Warriors um, Veil of Darkness up the board. They're going to beat the, well, shoot the pants off the Warriors. And my Doom Scythe's jumped up. We're going to go take out the uh, hopefully take out the hive guard and the exocrine before they can start doing any damage so on that note we will open up the shooting we're going to put everything from that doom scythe into the hive guard so that is three shots from the doomsday cannon hitting on threes with my uh, dynastic trait I get to re-roll one miss that's three hits I'm just going to check the AP on this they have three runes, so because this does uh, D3 plus three, it's AP minus four. Yes, they're in cover. That's not enough for them. Strength 12, toughness five, twos to kill. Uh, oh my God. I am going to command point one of those. So two of them die. One does survive though, for now. And that puts me down to 11. And now to do the Tesla twin Tesla destructors. Okay, hitting on threes, I want those sixes for the extra shots. So that is, right, that's that many hits, eight hits, uh, nine, ten, eleven, twelve hits from ten shots. <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? Wounding on threes. Did you just say twelve hits from ten shots? Yes, I did. And that many saves of three plus, because we will count them as still being in cover. So roll it over here if you could. So he takes one, two, three wounds, he's dead. Quick question. Can yes. Command point re -roll? Yes, you can. Come on. He's still dead. Done. <laughs> and now. <laughs> and I'm down a command point. And you're down a command point, and that's them gone. And now we're going to open up on the warriors. We're going to start with the Royal Warden. He's in rapid fire range, so that's four shots hitting on threes. Wounding on threes, so one wound at AP minus two, but they're in cover, so one five up save, please. Makes it, got a nice five there, and now we'll do the Reapers. So I'm just going to roll this twice for the shots, because we've got 20 shots coming in. Hitting on threes, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven so far. 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 hits. <laughs> Rooting on threes. So this is the first 10. Um, so that's 8. And then there's the other 6. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, 5, 10, 12. What's the AP on them again? I can never remember. I haven't used Necrons for a while. Last time I did was against my mate Andy against his Orcs. And it was really, really sad how easily Orcs die against uh, Necrons. So again, this many 5-up saves. Oh. You can roll them again here for me. Okay, so that's one dead, two dead, three dead. That's the squad. Ooh. Ooh. I'm not even. I'm not even done yet. Um, okay, I'm just going to quickly let the dog out. Hello. And then we'll go from there. This doom scythe. It's going to kill the exocrine. So let's go with the. Oh, I forgot to do their re rolls. Because they. Oh, never mind. It doesn't really matter. Uh, three shots from the main gun. Re rolling the miss. Because of my dynastic trait. Still missed. Uh, toughness eight, so wounding on threes. Uh, I'm going to. I can't really use a command point. So that's one wound. Three. So one six up save. Come on. Because he's in cover. Yes! Oh, damn. Fair play. Right, let's hit him with the twin Tesla destructors then. We're getting a two up save on this because he's in cover. This is the 10 shots. Oh, wow. Uh, Reroll one miss. Okay, so 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 hits from 10 shots. 13. <laughs> Wounding on 5 because. This is only strength. Yeah, strength seven against toughness eight. So this is a bit harder. But let's face it. And one, two, three, four. Two up saves because he's in cover. He is absolutely fine. He's just ignoring it. That's a bit better for you, isn't it? Yeah, I think you just keep shooting him in these holes and going, yeah, it's going to hit him. And he's just keep getting in the armor. Okay, I'm not going to shoot him in the holes, I'm just shooting him on the armour. Or I'm just hitting the ground around him, because that one was so impressed by what happened over here, that he's like, oh mate, did you see? Oh, I missed. Oh, I was too busy looking over there, I missed what was over here. Right, um, I already measured up the death marks, they're going to shoot you, Broodlord. Hitting on twos. Rerolling one miss. Wow, that was, a, otherwise that's an awful roll. Um, so that's four hits. Wounding on, wounding on, I very new to Necrons, but I love them. Wounding on fours, six is a remortal wound. That's, so he's taken a wound. Okay. And, so five. Five. And two saves for his invulnerables, two five up saves. He's down to three wounds. That was good, wasn't it? Yeah. Snipey, snipey. They, they, they saw how bad he did and was like, yeah, we can easily beat that. Okay. So I know with your trait you will gain one back up in your turn. Do -do. Don't do it yet. It's not your turn yet, cheeky little sod. Right, that was pretty brutal. Um, ten hormigants on your right flank left. Everything else over here, you're really going to need to get stuff stuck in soon. That's my left flank. That's oh, you sorry. Flank. Your left, my right. Oh, actually, are the warriors in range? I'm going to check. Uh, so none of the warriors in range of the exocrine. So we're going to be hitting on twos because of the my will be done. And we oh, we get to reroll one miss because of our dynastic trait. So that it all hit. Now we're only on sixes, though. Nothing. Yeah, it was worth a try. Um, that was... I really hoped the X-Crime would die as well, but that was still a very good turn one. Um, my right flank, I would say, is completely secure. It would be interesting to see what he does as we move into Tyranid 
turn one. Tyranid turn one command phase it goes back to t- six. It goes back to twelve command points. And once the movement's done, we'll come back. Okay, I'm going to quickly talk through. So gene stealers rush forward. Swarm lords rush forward. Brood lords rush forward. Carnifexes rush forward. Hormer goods have stayed exactly where they are because they are in a really precarious position. So he needs to either hope that I move my warriors across this way and don't just hunt them down because there are bigger threats this way. Or oh, I don't know what he's going to do because they ran out now. They probably be a shot. I personally think he should have run out and tried the charge. Yeah, I, but we'll see. If I had run out though, I actually could have just, if they all died, I, would, I could have just brought them all back up here. Yeah. Would you like to bring them out? Actually, yes, I will bring them out. Okay. <laughs> uh, Oop. Okay, so we'll quickly do that, and then we'll come back and start the psychic phase. Psychic, psychic phase. phase. Right. Who's going first? First, I'm going to use psychic phase with with my... Wait, do I have a slingshot? That, oh, shooting. Yes, sorry. Slingshot, no, I said. Yeah, that's shooting phase. Oh, that's shooting. That's shooting phase, so yeah. Uh, roll the advance on the gene stealers. We'll do that on camera, and then... Okay, that's six. Ooh. Well, we'll get moved up. Ah! <laughs> you, this, uh, and I already said this jack off camera, this is why I'm glad that I, he chose me to go first. Because um, the only reason they've stopped there is because they need to be outside of an inch so they can charge. But he could easily have been right up to my front line and done a first turn charge. Yes, then lots of stuff would have chewed into them. But, yeah. No, so... The order of turns was fine. Okay, so that's happened. Um, kind of glad he didn't do it to one of the Carnifexes and shove them forward, but there we go. They're going to get mullered if they just stayed over there. So, Psychic, who's going first? First I'm going to Psychic with my Broodlord, who has the Resonance Bar, which means he can use two Psychic things. And he has Smite and Catalyst. So, first let's go with Smite. Closest unit within 18 inches, and... Uh, we, we it's the flyer. It's the flyer. quite clearly the flyer. So, two dice. Need more than a five. That's a six. Yep, so D3 mortal wounds. Okay. So he takes one. Which brings him down to 11 wounds. <laughs> I'm just going just, to... just put a one next to it. It's fine. We'll keep track of it that way. And... Catalyst, who's he putting that on? Catalyst is going to go... Some dice for you. On the gene stealers. Okay, so two dice. Two dice. I believe you need more than a six. Yep, so they've now got a five-up shrug as well. They've still got the um, the hive adaptation for... Um, what's your, brood, your hive's name again? Hyperion? Um, Hyperion. Hyperion. Yeah. So when they charge, and I will overwatch, they'll get their four plus shrug on that instead. Now we move on to the Swarm Lord, who can do two psychic powers. He has Smite, Horror, and Psychic Scream. Which is basically just Smite. Yeah. So first let's use Psychic so, Scream. Which two are you doing? Psychic Scream and... So the Horror would give me minus one to hit. Yeah, I'm going to do Horror. On which unit? On this unit. Make them a little bit worse in combat if they survive. First, let's do the psychic scream, though. So, who's the nearest unit with? Oh, he's not in range, Jack. Look, you need to hold it with him, actually. Oh, so I can psychic scream them Hang as on. well. Let's see. The destroyers are closer, unfortunately. Okay, so psychic scream the destroyers. Okay, two dice. Failed. And failed. Ah. Oh. Now, try and do the horror on these guys. Yep. Yeah, that's definitely gone off. So they are now horrified. The mindless automaton robots that care for nothing, have no independent thought, are now scared. <laughs> Does that make sense? Sure. Um, okay. So that is the end of Psychic Phase. We'll now move on to the only bit of shooting that he has left, which is the Exocrine. Uh, so six shots, and where are they going? Six shots into the dumb flyer that couldn't hit a thing. Doom size. Close doom size. So, uh, because he's super fast, you are hitting on fours. Didn't move, so you get plus one, but minus one. Uh, it's three hits. I'm going to pay a command point to re-roll that. Okay. Still three hits. Uh, strength seven, toughness six, so wounding on threes. Wounding on threes. So how many hits do I get? Three. Okay. No. 
plus one, minus one, hitting on fours. So two, sorry. Two. My bad. Uh, one wound at AP. Sorry, I've got it over here with me. AP minus three, which gives me a six up save. Which he does not make, and that is a flat two damage. So he's now on three wounds? Ta now taken three wounds. Okay, and is he going to shoot again? Yes, I'm going to pay it two no, 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 Jack. Oh. If he doesn't move, he can shoot twice. Oh, yeah. You I don't need to that. use single minded annihilation. And then I can use annihilation. Now, I can use it after. Yes. Would that mean I could do another two in two shots? I don't know, so I don't know if you can actually use it or not. Rather than faffing about trying to find out, I would say yes, but only the once. Okay. Now, are you going to try and shoot him again? As you can see, limited effect. Or are you going to try and shoot something else? I'm going to shoot him again because he's really annoying me. And okay, buddy. Because like the flyers. Yeah, that, they're that's... going to do some damage. Oh, they are. So that's three hits. We're only on threes. Nothing. No. Three twos. That's Kay. so unlucky. Single-minded annihilation. Who are you shooting at the same target? Shooting at the I'm same I'm trying target? so hard to recommend that you pick something else. But I know, but I want to. All right. To, okay. Let it be known on this recording. I do actually try to help him quite a lot. A lot of it's off camera, but I want people to hear that I do try to help him. Yes. Right. Here we go. Two hits. Two wounds. Made one, failed one, so I've taken five wounds, which doesn't bracket me yet, and I will start regenerating next turn anyway. How does halving, nearly halving your wounds not No, you? yeah, but you need to actually half my wounds. Oh, so not nearly, just actually. Actually. Right, I believe that is the end of Tyranid turn one. Can't I charge? <laughs> yes, you can, I was just teasing. <laughs> I also like to wind them up. So let's um, let's roll the charge, see how much how much distance they've got to throw themselves into combat. Wait, are you only declaring the warriors or are you gonna try and fight anything else as well? I'm going to declare only the warriors. Okay, I'm gonna overwatch, so let me quickly do that first. Okay, I'm gonna roll twice with the 10 dice because they'll be rapid firing. With my command protocol, I am hitting on fives. So that's... One, two, three so far. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine hits. Let's get rid of that one. Uh, so that's wounding on fours. So three five up and vulnerable saves. And any that fail, you then have a four up shrug. So, so roll them again, because they all failed. And two die. So we will... We'll just take him off the back, yeah. I presume. Take him off the back. Okay. Now roll for your charge. Two dice. Oh. Okay, 11 inches. Um, we'll just play around with that because they need to make sure they don't get within an inch of everybody else to see how many we can get into combat. Just quickly, just before he rolls the ridiculous amount of dice, I counted up. We're looking at how many attacks? 52 attacks. So we haven't got that many dice. Um, so we're rolling two lots of 24 and then the extra four. Plus I don't use my hand to carry that many dice. Oh, we could definitely figure that out. Okay, rolling them here. So we've got to keep track of this. Oh boy. Right, count up the hits. So what do I have to get to a hit? You tell me. I have to get... Guessing threes. Uh, let's put one side. Um, so what, WS? Yep. Three plus, yes. Okay, so... Are you using rending claws or scythes? Scything talons. Okay, so you got four re rolls. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, eight. So it's twenty hits so far. I've, yeah, I've included them. Okay. So roll it all again. Hmm, this could be really, really bad. So how many hits do we have so far? Twenty so far. Okay, is that including the plus three? Yes, I said that. Oh, it doesn't listen. I don't listen, obviously. Right. <laughs> Somehow it's my fault. Right, there's three re-rolls. Let's get these twos out of the way. Sorry, this is a bit messy on the made camera. One, made one of the re-rolls. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, 
So we are looking at 35 hits. Plus the four that I need to roll again. Oh, plus the extra four, yeah, my apologies, because you need those. <laughs> Reroll that one. Reroll the one. So 38 hits. So that. 38. So roll all of them again plus another 10. Um, wounding on fours. Strength four, toughness four. I think this might be a little too much for you. No, I'll be alright. As long as one survives, they'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be back. Okay. It's not bad, it's not bad. All things considered. Hang on, two, four, six, eight. Actually, ten miss, so roll those again. Because they got to roll the ten anyway. Yep. Okay, so I'll take. Two, Do I have to. Four, is it, what about six, threes? Do I have to get threes? Or? Fours. Okay, fours. Six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen saves at four up. How many guys are you trying to save? Ten. So I need to make at least seven of these. Seven saves. Mm. <sighs> get to save? Four up. Four. Okay, you need to get seven four ups. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> so, six die. Six. How? Uh, and I'll just quickly show you what that looks like, because I will be putting myself out of combat with death. Beautiful. Reanimation protocols. So four plus because of the reanimator re-rolling ones. Re-rolling ones. Okay. Um, Jack. Yeah. You know you killed six. Yeah. Five came back. What? He's not played against Necrons before. I don't know if he will ever agree to again. No, I don't think I will. Um, two. Three. Four. Oh, knocked over a death mark. And... Five. Beautiful. One dead. I'll put him over here. Six attacks for one guy. For one guy. Aren't Necrons annoying? Yes. You really should have used your rending claws. But there we go. Right. Um, did you want to consolidate and put yourself back into combat? Uh... It means I can hit you back, but otherwise, if you don't... Everything gets to shoot you. If you at least tag them back into combat, yeah, I'll get to punch you a couple of times. Yeah, I'll tag you back into combat. But they'll have to fall back before I can shoot you. If I shoot you, I might just nom you with some scarabs. Okay, so that was not a very effective... Um, what about the scarabs being... Oh, yeah. The sneaky scarabs. Sneaky scarabs sat both sides. Okay, I'm just going to... I'll sort that out in a minute. Um, so, Tyranid turn one. Bearing in mind, in my turn, I killed warriors, hive guard. Oh, that, that's all though, isn't it? That's not that bad. Yeah. It's not and that bad. In my turn, you killed two of my guys, and I killed one. Oh, technically, I killed six guys. It's two squads made up of three, so that's six. So I've killed six times more things so than you. Technically, I killed six guys and dealt five wounds, except for five of your guys just went. No, no, I'm not going to die. I refuse to. I am weirdo. Yep, so they just all suck themselves back together again. And now I've got loads of gene stealers to deal with. But that's fine. But this here is still quite a bit of, bit of a punch. So we're going to see what happens as we go, amusingly enough, into Necron. Oh, wait. Did you want to you switch oh, yeah, charge with them? Like, I'm so sorry. No, I, we will go back and do that. That's my fault. I was supposed to remind you. Two dice. Let's see if I can actually charge. Are you going to overwatch with those guys? I can only overwatch the once I did it over here. Ah. Oh. Drop dice don't count. Drop dice don't count. That's a one. Uh, they, I'm pretty sure he makes it in. Let's have a look. Yep. Bear with. Okay. Because I'm nice. We went back. I'll have 20 attacks coming in from the Hormigants. Hitting on fours. Wounding on fives. Gets my four up save. And then my reanimation protocol. Again. Oh, wow. Uh, so reroll the one. This is what you wanted. On the wound roll with uh, gene stealers, really. Okay, there we go. So that's your hits. So that is 14 hits. That's pretty good. Right, wounding on fives. Because that is tougher than you are strong. Oh, that's not bad. Again, this would be great for rending claws. Um, so that is six, five up, uh, six four ups, sorry. 
no AP on. Oh wait. So yes, they do have toxic sacks, but these guys only have one wound each. So the, the extra damage thing doesn't come into play here. Also, didn't come into play with the gene stealers because again, one wound that would have would have been good against like the destroyers or other things like that. Okay. Oh, three go down. I'm just gonna quickly roll now to get back up. Nope, three of them do die. Yes. I know we actually did something. Died. So let's take those three off, and then I will punch back with one, two, three, four, five, six of them. Not their, uh, not their wheelhouse, but I will be falling out of combat and shooting them anyway. Mm -hmm. So hitting on threes. And then I'll just be bringing them back. Oh boy, that was not good. Wounding on threes. So that one over there. So two six up saves, please, Jack. Damn. Um, okay, that is a one because oh. the other side is the six. What? So one dies. That's a weird shape for that a one. That is a weird shape for a one. I don't worry. I, I have such a mismatch of dice. I will sort out some custom dice soon because I really, really want to. Um, so your guys can actually fail leadership because they're only leadership six. Three. Something stupid. And there's no synapse um, anywhere near them. Cormagant's leadership five. Five. So roll one dice. Roll low. Five, but they lost one, so that's a six, so they failed. So one runs away. I can't and, deal with this anymore. I'm and happy. then roll for the remaining seven. No, eight. Roll for the remaining eight, and any ones, more of them run away. I lost three. Uh, no, the rest of them stay. That's fine. I lost three. I'm leadership ten. I can't fail. So that's a bit embarrassing for you. And now that is it. Move on to Necron turn two. Right, command phase. I go back up to 12 because I'm really not using them. And my next command protocol are my lovely bits of paper. I will make something more fancy. Four, protocol of the hungry void. So I'm going to... I'm going to use Directive 2. So each time a model in this unit makes a melee attack, if this unit made a charge move, was charged, or performed a heroic intervention this turn, add one to that attack strength characteristic. So my uh, scarabs are actually going to have some strength to them, which is hilarious. Mm -hmm. um, and I will regain a wound here. So this is how many wounds he's taken. So we're now down to he's only taken four. And... Let's do some movement. We'll come back in just a second. Okay, so we'll quickly go through the movement and I'll explain what's going to happen next. Fallen out of combat with the Royal Warden special ability, they will be shooting them. Warriors have fallen out of combat. Everything else is sort of ready to you know, shoot and jump in, hopefully mulch down these guys. Um, but we'll see. I'm going to hold them up with scarabs. be hilarious. Scoreback destroyers and Scoreback Lord are moving up. They want to beat up Carnifex. Plasmance has wandered out, so he's now going to do his uh, special ability, which is the Harbinger of Destruction. So I roll three dice. For each four plus, Carnifex takes a mortal wound. It's essentially smite, but not, because I don't do psychic. I don't, it's not that I don't like psychic, I just don't do psychic. Right, so he takes a mortal wound. Boosh. I'll just put that on as a one. Mortal wound, it goes through any armour invulnerable... I thought they just stayed forever for no. some reason. Well, they do. Well, he'll still be able to heal it. Um, Wait, Carnifexes have eight wounds? Carnifexes have eight wounds. I did not know they had that many wounds. Yeah. Which means right now I can target your Swarm Lord. How many wounds does my... Swarm Lord has 12. So I'm, I'm going to try and that's kill him. That's the same... Because people really go on about the Exocrine. Um, I'm not seeing it so far. Yeah, neither, neither am I. Um, maybe I think it, it I th can do that thing with the, when you do the thing. Mate, stop saying thing. He's talking about, um, yeah, the thing. <laughs> the uh, extra attack if it's yes. too, too, too. Yeah, too. but even then, it, I think your target choice was the problem. Yeah. You were trying to hit something that just wasn't going to go down from it. Um, so anyway, we are now going to do some shoosting. And let's see what we have left at the end. 
Um, so we're going to start over here. So Royal Warden's going to go first. He did not fall out of combat, so he's hitting on threes as normal. That's two hits, gets to reroll one miss. So that's three hits. Uh, threes will kill a Hormigant. So that's two dead Hormigants. And I've got seven left. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen shots. What do you think? Uh, Hitting on fours. No, I can't. Oh, that was awful. Um, we get, do get to reroll one. Okay. So five hits. Okay. That's uh, five dead. You couldn't toss quarter tournaments if you tried. I really, actually, in our previous Crusade games, um, I do struggle to finish off the Hormigants. <laughs> it's really funny. There's always one left. It's Why is there one. always one left? It's always, it's always this guy as well. Know, that's because you choose that guy to survive. It's the bane of, it's the bane of your existence so, in this. I just don't understand it. Just always one left. Okay, so... Uh, Plasmancer's going to shoot his lance into the... Um, Carnifex. So that's D3 shots. So one shot. Hitting on threes. What's his toughness, please? Toughness of the what? Carnifex. The one that's been taken a wound. Oh! Seven. I need to remember that it's minus one to hit. I still hit on the foot with the five. So it's forced to wound. Does not wound. I'm going to command point that. Uh, and minus three. So six up save. Which he does not make, so you take two damage. He's taken three wounds. Which how many does that leave him with? Like five. Uh, yeah, that leaves him with five exactly. Okay, I'm going to stop shooting him because my Scorpex want to beat him up in combat. So we'll shoot the other one. So now we'll go to Scorpex Lord, wherever he's gone. There he is. So now he's going to shoot with his weapon, Assault Two D Three. So how many shots do I get? Five. So minus one to hit because of their stuff. So he's hitting on. Oh, I completely forgot to do my will be done. Nope, my fault. Uh, hitting on threes. Get to reroll one of those. So that's uh, three hits. Wounding on fives. Nothing. Okay. Okay. Never mind. All right. Okay. That's fine. Snipers. I'm going to shoot the brood lord again. Death marks, here we go. Hitting on two. All hit. Wounding on four. So that's, he's taken two wounds. It's two mortal wounds from the, the sniper rifles. And then four five up saves. Brutal is dead. Totally, utterly worth their points. I love these guys. And let's see what shooting we can put into the um, Gene Stealers. I'll be right back. Okay, three shots from the, anim the reanimator into the Gene Stealers. Two hits. Oh, I can re-roll one. No, still missed. So I get for going back. Uh, one five up invulnerable save. And then one five up. No, yeah, we've still got Catalyst. So he survives. He rolled a five. He's trying to mic drop or fist bump. I'm not sure. I want fist bump, but you can't play your two five. Uh, no. Oh. Okay, so uh, now we'll move on to the doom scythes. So the closest one here is going to put everything into the swarm lord. Everything. 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 So three shots from the big gun. Rerolling one. So that's three hits. What's his toughness, please? Toughness of the Swarm Lord is seven. Okay, so when you're on threes, I'm going to command point one of those. So that's two wounds. So what's his invulnerable save? Four plus, I believe. Um, invulnerable save. That's SV, right? Yes. Well, plus plus. He's got four plus invulnerable save. Roll two dice. It says three plus slash four plus plus. Yeah, so it's four plus is your invulnerable. Okay. Twice. Uh, so he's taken three plus... So he's taken six wounds. What? 
<laughs> so he's down to six. <laughs> One got through. It's D3 plus three. That's a three. Plus three equals six. He's now on half wounds. And now we do the Tesla Destructor. This. I may need to adjust my list slightly and maybe do smaller games with my Necrons against him because this is brutal. Whew. Right, here we go. Tesla Destructor, hitting on three sixes or an additional two hits. Oh wow, here we go again. Rerolling, I've already rerolled. Use his reroll, so that's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven hits from ten shots. What's his toughness again? Seven, toughness isn't it? Of the swarm lord, um, yeah, it's seven, it doesn't change. Okay, fours. Like Holy moly, look at those sixes. If only, oh, mate. If only there was some sort of bonus for that. All right, two, four, six, eight, nine, four up save. No, three up saves, sorry. Nine, three up saves. Need to make. So he loses one, two, three more wounds. Okay. Well, he's less of a threat now, isn't he? Yeah, he's gone down literally two ranks his movement's now five his strength is now six and his attacks are now four beautiful you've lowered his attacks by two. Oh, is that it yeah it's slowed him down a bit okay so we are going to put the second doomsday scythe he's going to put his big gun into the exocrine and the twin test destructor into the swarm lord you should not have left him exposed he exposed himself and now he's paying for it <laughs> right big gun into the exocrine uh, one hit, use my reroll. No, nope, still one hit. Wounds, six up save. Six up save on the extra crime. Nope. So D3 plus three. Oh, I don't know which dice was that. It was that one. It was that one, you sure? Yeah. If you're happy with that. So he's taken six wounds. So he's now down to six. He's now down to six as well. And then Tesla Destructor into the Swarm Lord. These guys are brutal too. Four, now you should wait until the third Stop that. Right, hitting on threes. So, oh, this isn't as good. So, that's only two, four, five, six, seven hits. I've actually now, for the first time, had less hits than shots for my Tesla Destructors. Cool. Wishing on fours. That's only two saves of three up. He's good. So he's, I mean, I wouldn't have killed him, but that would have been absolutely hilarious if he was down to one wound. Um, okay, so now we're going to do some charges. Uh, Scarab's going to charge Gene Steelers. Do they get in? <gasps> they do. Scarab's are going to charge the Gene Steelers. Do they get in? They do. Crazy. It's almost like they were really close. Overlord's gonna charge the Gene Steelers? No, that's that's a terrible idea. Because I can't. Yes, no, he's not. He's. I know. I just stood in there, um, and he could do some damage. But I'd rather whittle them down a bit more first, because there's still a lot of Gene Steelers. Um, Score pack destroyers are gonna declare on the um, Carnaflex. Carnaflex. I can't remember where I heard that from, but it was hilarious. Right. Uh, oh dear. Let's measure that up. Okay, that's out. I need at least a six, so I am going to re-roll. That's it, they're in combat. So, that's down another command point? Yes. Uh, and my plasma site is going to follow. Uh, no, it doesn't make it. So he's going to, I think that's how that works. He's going to disappear. Um, how much of a charge do you reckon this is? Are we feeling confident, or should we just kill him? And then consolidate into him. And consolidate into the alpha. Oh, yeah, alpha nonsense. Right. Alpha tail. He's going to charge big chappy there. It's already been beaten up. Six. Ooh, he's a bit further away. Let's have a look. That's a failed charge. Hmm. Poo. Okay, it is what it is. They'll still chop him up, and then I'll consolidate into the swarm lord to hold him up there. And then it'll be up to Jack what he wants to then do with his other Khan effects. Um, but yes, this is interesting. So, heavily wounded, heavily wounded, wounded. B 
being held up. One left. Full. <laughs> I'm confident. I think, to be honest, the flyers are probably a bit much for Jack. Yeah, I dislike flyers now. I greatly dislike them. Well, what if you had a flyer? I'd still dislike them because they're too, they're too overpowered. It's, it doesn't seem that good. <laughs> it's absolutely brilliant for arms where, I'm, uh, where I am standing. Right. Now I need to pick carefully where I want to attack first because after I've done my first attack, Jack can pay two command points to interrupt and go first elsewhere, which will probably say if I go first here, he'll then do the gene stealers. If I go here first, then he'll actually, to be fair, if I went first with scarabs, then he could do his gene stealers. Then I do scarabs and so on. But I'm going to start with the score pet destroyers because I think we need to take out that carnifex. So I'm going to check their stats and we're going to cut them to pieces. Okay, so we're going to use the one with the hyperphase reap blade first. So that's hitting on threes. Uh, I get to reroll one of those because of my trait, and then because it's a destroyer, I get to reroll ones. Okay, it's two hits, wounding on fours. Oh, hang on. No, that's only against shooting. Uh, one wound, uh, AP minus four, so no armor save. You take three damage. So he's down to two. Is that one guy? That's one, that's one of them. Okay, he's just dead. The other two have eight attacks. Hitting on threes. Gets, oh, no, I really use the squad for three roll. And wounding on fives. So that is three six up saves. There's a two damage each. I have to so save two of them. You have, five. you have to save all three of them. Oh. So three sixes. What crazier things have happened? No, he's dead. I can get a single. No. Um, hang on. Roll the dice. On a six, he lashes out. He lashes out. That's a six, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, can you check how many mortal wounds he deals to my guys, please? Uh, that's really annoying. Well, I don't find that. Oh, actually, bear with me two seconds. Okay, uh, Carnifexes don't have the, like, six plus explodey thing, but he is going to use Death Frenzy to attack me, which is fair enough, because <laughs> they just wandered up and just casually cut his head off and then his legs, and now one of them's using his arm as a hat, and it's, it's just weird. Um, so... <laughs> Uh, base attacks then, let's see what you got. So that's a six attacks, I think, wait, uh, wait, no, four attacks. Four attacks, yep. you didn't charge, so it's just four attacks. Oh no, no, sorry, five attacks, you got two sets of monstrous scything talons. Yep. So, hitting on fours, re-rolling ones. So that's th uh, three hits, winning on threes. That's two wounds. What's the AP on your monstrous talons? Minus three. I've got two six-up saves to make. Otherwise, oh, Jesus. Flat three. So I need... Oh, God. Oh, this is really bad. Um, so two of them die. So we're going to keep the guy with the big axe. Yeah. And then his, his tail. Oh, yeah, his you, you can still take him away. Just roll one dice. So hitting on fours. Missed. That's fine. Can I play a thing to re-roll up? You can, but what's the point? I could kill him. It's probably more important in this fight to face somewhere else. It's, just, it's up to you. I'm you can't kill him, that's only one damage weapon. I'm still there to do it. I'm okay. To. Missed. Still totally worth it. And he's just going to consolidate into the Swarm Lord. Um, oh, wait, no, 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 he's not. No, no, no. Because then the Swarm Lord gets to attack, gets to attack him now. Um, but then that's going to happen next turn anyway, and he might get. Oh, you know I'm just going to leave it. Right, uh, are you going to pay two command points to interrupt? Or are you going to let my scarabs go first? I'm going to interrupt. You're really running out of those command points. You're down to two now. Yes, I like using command points, unlike you. Cool. Okay, so... You can't do too much movement, because you can't split either way. Uh, so you've got... Let me just adjust this for you. Let's, I'll come back. Uh, so 20 attacks going into these scarabs. So hitting on fours. I'm using silent hands, by the way. Rerolling ones. There's a one right there. Ooh. Okay, so that's a few hits. Two. What did they hit on? Um, threes or fours? I can never remember. Hit on threes. So that's all. Ooh, take that one away. That's all your hits. Wounding on threes. 
guys, he's only scarabs. I made him a cheat sheet. Okay, so. I like my cheat sheet. Uh, wow, that's a lot. Six up. I know I'm going. For, oh my god, patience! No. Right, six up saves. So make one. So that's one, two dead scarabs, and one's on two wounds. Yeah, they have four wounds each. What? I know, it's ridiculous, isn't it? Okay, so, you get what you said, they're better rippers. Hang on. Sorry. Oh no, it's because I took the dice from over there. Okay, so two of them died. So let's just quickly roll their reanimation protocols. Oh yeah. Can you roll those two guys reanimation? Oh, of course. Thank you, Jack. No, no. Right, let me do the scarabs first. So, sixes. Fives or? Fives. Fives. Oh, drop dice don't count. How many have I got? I've got eight, so. No, it's not enough. I had to roll at least four for each base. Right, let me just quickly do my destroyers. One of them comes back. I shouldn't have mentioned it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay. Um, all right, now it's... Mm, oh, yeah. And then 20 more attacks into the other other ones, because it's still the same squad attacking. Then I'm going to nibble on you. Oh, my scarabs. My scarabs died. I love my scarabs. <laughs> Look at my scarabs. It's so funny when you cry. <laughs> Can you feel the love today? Reroll your ones, nasty little boy. Okay, so move all the ones and twos out of the way. Okay, now with threes to wounds. I got it, I got it. So, this many saves. Oh, wow. You actually do good. So, one one base died this time, and then one of them's down to... Oh, i use that one down to two. So, let's quickly roll his reanimation protocols. No, that's not going to happen, is it? Yes! And now I fight back. So, the first base there gets four attacks. Hitting on fours, any sixes or automatic wounds. So two hits, fives to wound. Oh, I get one reroll, don't I? Still missed. See, that's what you get for forgetting. The second squad gets there's eight attacks because there's two of them. Okay, so that's one automatic wound. Reroll one. No, no, you still got an armor save to make. Just it. I don't have to roll the wound for that one. And fives. So one five up save. And then you'll feel no pain. Five up. Okay, good. One dies. One stealer. The guy I thought was going to die. Okay. <laughs> so, again, these guys are leadership 10. I ain't going anywhere. You need leadership over there. So you need a one, otherwise you fail. And he runs away. He rolled a one. He stays right where he is. Which means <laughs> you laugh... <laughs> You laugh and you clap and you get all cocky about it, but that means that you cannot bring that unit back. I know, it's just this guy. It's so funny. He's ridiculous. <laughs> so, Gene Steers are held up in combat, which is brilliant, because if they fall out, they can't do anything. Um, so they're going to have to finish beating up the Scarabs. Uh, Swarm Lord's badly injured, but he is going to go back up to four wounds. Same for the extra crying, go up a wound. But now we shall move on to Tyranid, turn Dos. Okay, so... Moved slightly. I'm, I'm really worried about this flank. <laughs> uh, Swarm Lord's moved himself up. If he manages to psychic these guys away, then he can move himself again and maybe affect the fighting elsewhere. Carnifex has moved up. Pretty sure I know what's, what's going to be happening here. Gene Steeler is locked in combat with uh, the awesome, the perfect, the most, you know, brilliant unit ever, Scarabs. Um... <laughs> So now we'll move on to Psychic. Uh, that's just the Swarm Lord now. So I'm guessing he's going to smite them. He's going to smite and Psychic Scream, which are basically the same thing. Yep, so let's do Smite first. That passed D3 Mortal Wounds. Takes two. So one of them's down to one. And now 
Psychic Scream. You get hit. Yeah, D3 mortal wounds. So three. he's down one, two, three. You basically just kill one and hit two at the yep. end. Yep. Uh, I don't get to do reanim reanimation protocols against psychic <laughs> because reasons. Okay, uh, that's it for psychic. On to shooting. X crime. What's the X crime going to shoot at this time? The X crime's going to blast at this guy. Okay, uh, yeah, there's nothing to stop you because he's not got any lookouts, so at the moment I'm just going to take this guy off because he's not going to, he won't remain. So, uh, are you shooting at him twice? Yes, I'm just, just do all 12 shots together then. be a lot easier. Drop dice don't count. Hitting on threes. Oh yeah, I forgot to put this guy back up then. Yeah. Damn. I think that's a pretty good shot. Only one miss. Ten, uh, that's two oh, misses, two so misses. that's ten hits. Ooh, I'm gonna, yeah. uh, wounding on threes. I am toughness six. Okay, that is quite a few. It's quite a few. So let's do my four up and vulnerable. Oh dear. Uh, two seconds. He did. <laughs> He's super dead. Now, what this will allow me to do, if I can just get to my stratagems. Resurrection protocols. Four plus. He comes back. Come on, come on. Yes! Sad times. <laughs> Scorpet Lord. Has fallen. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. And now we move on to the charge phase. Wait. I pay three command points. All that. Wait, wait, is it three? Wait, it might be two actually. If it, it might be two actually. Wait, wait a sec, please. Uh, where is it? We, why are we Where's waiting? I oh, can't wait. remember. Oh, yeah, it's 2 CP. 2 CP to shoot again. Oh, bugger. What's happening? Now I get to shoot. <sighs> Who are you shooting at? This guy. So you have to shoot them. You cannot yep. shoot him while they're close. Okay, so six shots. Three. Four hits. Um, pretty sure you'll be wounded on twos. But look, you roll and I'll check. Uh, Win you on threes because they're toughness five. And that gives them two five up saves. Command point. They have? Command point. Hang on. Uh, they're both dead. <laughs> what noise was that? <laughs> <clears throat> Don't judge my laughing happily noises. See, the exocrine is effective against the right target. <laughs> I know. Okay. I just love that. Right. Uh, now we're on to charge phase. Who's charging where? Okay, so first, the Khan Fex is going to charge at Mr. Blade stuff. Overwatch! He, Overwatch. he has a gun. He has a spear. It's part gun. <gasps> what? How is a spear part gun? Right. So this watch this hilarity. So mm -hmm. hang on. First of all, oh, she's down to seven. Uh, so D three shots. So two shots. Uh, hitting on fours because of spores. Sorry, it's Overwatch. So I'll be hitting on sixes. They both miss anyway. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, roll your charge. Go on. Fail. Two dice. Oh yeah. Seven though, he's in. <laughs> and that's six attacks as well, because I You just just my wait. Tusks. Okay, and is he charging? Yep, he's gonna charge. Okay, two dice. I haven't got any overwatch there, I can't anyway. Two inch. Oh. Oh no, he's in, he's fine. <laughs> yeah, I, you know what? Let's let's just measure No, I've already moved him, so yeah, it doesn't matter. It uh is the Hormigan gonna charge? Hormigan's gonna charge. Uh 
Oh, look, he got into combat. <laughs> a personal favourite of mine. Yeah, right. Um, so, first of all, at the start of the fight phase, he's going to electrocute him. So, on a 4+, plus, you suffer a mortal wound. Nope. Poo. Oh, actually, what's the other one? I will learn all these things. Oh, yeah. So, on a 2+, plus, he was, suffers D3 mortal wounds. He suffers D3 mortal wounds. He takes three wounds. He's down to... Five. Five. So I'm probably going to be absolutely hacked to pieces, but at least I've done some damage there. Right, um, who are you going to fight with first? I'm going to first fight with the Carnaflex. 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 Ah, big <laughs> muscles. <laughs> weird six attacks plus the bone mace, which I'll do after this. Do separately, yep. So, four hits. Oh, re-rolling ones, because they're massive scything talents. Four hits. Wait, what's his... Uh, Other side of the awesome sheet I made you. Uh, weapon skill? Yeah, four plus. So, four hits. Okay. Uh, that is... What's his strength? Uh, wait, I need over. Uh, strength, uh, six. No boosts for the actual weapons? Um, not that I can see in this at the moment. Okay, so two. What's the AP on that? At minus three. Squish. I don't even have to use my chicken thorns. On a four plus, he comes back. He comes back. Out of combat, and he has two wounds. How many wounds do you normally have? Four. Okay, so at least I have two wounds. Back at half strength, and he's not in combat with you. I'm going to pay to interrupt. I didn't even see who was attacking him next. I know, it doesn't matter. I'm interrupting you. I was going to attack him next. Okay. I'm interrupting and choosing to go over here. Oh. I choose. So that's two CP. And that is... Three attacks. I just want to check the stats on this. What's his toughness, please? Toughness of a swarm lord. Yeah. When he is. There's on four wounds. Seven still. His toughness Does is Okay, hitting on threes. Reroll one miss. Three hits. Wounding on fours. Two three plus invulnerable saves. He takes three wounds. That's, that makes the entire thing struggle to create it. He's not very impressive. <laughs> I honestly, um, he just he's just been battered left, right, and centre, hasn't he? Yeah, but somehow he's still alive. Okay, so now you choose. Well, f now you choose. So you can always leave him. I'm, I'm still attacking with the hominid first. I, okay, that was my plan all along. Okay, two attacks. Two um, attacks. Oh yeah, two. Hitting on fours. Winning on fives. Nothing. So now I'm going to pile in. Pile in on the one home again. So five attacks. Imagine if it survives. Two hits. Oh, I knocked that. Am I okay to reroll that? I knocked that with my finger. Yeah, sure. I saw that. One six up save. Come on, please survive. No. Squished. That's what you wanted. Don't pretend that we're well, not. You've got enough command points now, anyway. Yeah, I don't. Okay, now I choose next. So no, no, I've got to scarabs. I have to attack my swarm. We take it in turns. Oh wait, I'll do you charging units yeah, first. Charging, charging units first. Sorry, do the swarm yes. lords. If he kills him, then you'll go back up to four wounds. I think that's fair because I think that should have been done first, and then yeah. I've lost track, I don't know, it's fine. He has four attacks, because he's on one phone. Three hits. What's his strength now? Strength is... Six. Okay, so two wounds, and that's AP minus three. Two six up saves. Uh, Daddy, mm -hmm. 
wound rolls of six plus. I got one of those. Yeah. They deal. They deal one mortal wound. Oh, then he's time. dead. He's yeah. dead. Yeah. I'll put him back up to four. Mm. Okay. Now the scarabs. I will. I will kill him in my turn. It's fine. Eight attacks from these scarabs. That's two automatic wounds. Right. Two five up saves. Damn. <laughs> they were just like, you, you say what? <laughs> okay, so Gene Steelers attack back. So that's 12 attacks on two of them. Six. Five. That's six there. Sorry. Hitting on threes. Wait, what are you using? Scything towns again. Scything towns again. Okay. We rolling the ones. Okay, so threes to hit. Threes to wound. One, two, three, four, five. Five, six ups. Uh, so one's left on one wound. Does he re and uh, do I remember to heal them? I might have. No, it's fine. It hasn't been my turn yet. Uh, no, he stays dead. I'll just quickly let the dog in. Okay. And then. Right. 4, 8, 12, 16 attacks. Do 16 attacks, but use your rending claws. Okay, I'll use my rending claws because you said so, oh, so I just kind of want to test them out, because I haven't before. So. I'll show you the difference. 12, 16. So three's to hit. Okay, take away all the misses, including that weird house one, because that is a one. Three's to wound. He's dead. So AP minus one anyway, I only have a six up save. So you could have wiped that them out. Fine. But you don't ever listen to me. You never use rending claws. I know, but that's the that's what they're known for. Anyway, um so that was a much more successful turn for the Tyranids. Um I still think the Doomsiders are gonna absolutely win this for me. Um, so now we'll move on to battle round three, Necron turn three, command phase. Oh, hang on, let me do the whole screen thing. Uh, command phase, moving on to the next protocol, protocol five. Um, protocol 5, Protocol of the Undying Legions. Every time this unit uses its living metal ability, it regains an additional one lost wound. So, Plasmancer goes back up to maximum. Uh, Scarabs go back up to three, and he's now only taken two wounds. Booyah! Should Not a happy face. Should have brought in the gargoyles. Yeah, gargoyles still yet to come in. Okay, uh, going to move on to movement, because that's what you do. Uh, actually, yeah, move on to movement, and we'll come back. Lots going on. Plasma Answer is going to take out the Carnifix that cut him in half, and he came back. Doom Scythe dropped down here, still actually in range of the Exocrine, so that's probably going to be their target. Um, moved out of combat, everyone's moved back a bit, ready to shoot the Gene Stealers, and these guys are starting to trudge their way back over. That's the Warriors and the Royal Warden. And end of the movement phase, let's see how many mortal wounds he takes. So for each four plus, the Carnifex takes a mortal wound. That's two more wounds on the Carnifex, please. So he's now down to three. You weren't worried about him, were you? Not really, because all yeah. I see is he has a cool, glowy spear. He does have a cool, glowy spear, but he also has lightning. How does he have lightning power? He's Necron, isn't it? So they just have the lightning power. Well, he does. It's like, there's a plasma, so he controls plasma. Plasma, lightning, same thing. Right. Warriors have got my will be done on them. I'm also going to use um, Relentless Onslaught. 
So when a core infantry unit is selected to shoot until the end of the phase, each time model from that unit makes an attack with a ranged fire, rapid fire weapon, sorry, unmodified roll of hit scores an additional hit. Yeah. So that is 19 shots. Already got them here. Let me just get them picked up. Uh, so we're hitting on twos. Any sixes are two hits. Oh, beautiful. There's quite a few ones though. Oh dear. So I do get to re-roll one of them because of my trait. Oh, twos. No, I think on twos. Um, so that's an additional two hits. Wounding on fours. So shoot the gene stealers. That wasn't clear. So that's four, five, six, seven, five up saves. Oh wow. Okay, three though. Three gene stealers. Bye bye. But that was not what I was expecting. <laughs> they just laughed at you. Three shots you from the reanimator. Two hits. Two more five up saves. One more dies. Take off the hormigan. Goodbye, Barry. Barry? Oh, yeah, it's Barry and Gary. Okay. Uh, shots from him. I'll just quickly double check his stat. Okay. Three shots. Hitting on twos. Winning on threes. Three five up saves. We're whittling them down. Can you kill Gary? Two more die. Gary and Weirdo. Nope. Nope. He oh. doesn't have a name, so he is just weird. So yeah, apparently the two hormigants that were in there to help bolster up the unit because somebody couldn't count were called Barry and Larry. <laughs> Barry and Gary. Barry and Gary, my apologies. <laughs> like okay, uh, we're going to snipe the Swarm Lord. So that is five shots hitting on twos. Reroll one of them because of my trait. I'm going to use that more often. And then wounding on fives, but sixes are also a mortal wound. So he's taken a mortal wound, and that's it. He's down to three. Hmm. Okay, I'll probably deal with him with the Doom Scythes. So, Doom Scythe numero uno, the less hitty one so far, is going to put his big gun into the Exocrine and the twin Tesla Destructor into the Swarm Lord. So, big gun first of all. Hitting on threes. Wounded on threes. Two, six up saves, because he's in cover. Both failed. So that's, oh, he's dead. It's D3 plus three, so that's six, at least eight wounds as minimum. He did. And then... You now have two more dice in the place. <laughs> yeah. Ten shots into the Swarm Lords. Hitting on three. Oh boy. So I did miss with four, but with those two sixes, they're also hits. Oh, and I get to re-roll one of those actually, so hang on. Cool, so... Twelve hits out of ten shots. I love it, I love it so much. Uh, we're only on fours. So that is seven three up saves, please. Need to make well, more than three. He's down to one wound. Yes! I'm not done with him yet. I know, it's still. Azza, Doom Scythe. Um, because I've said that the Plasmancer wants to kill the Carnifex, so that's going to happen. And then. I know I could quite easily table him now, but we'll see. All right, so big gun into the Swarm Lord, um, Twin Tesla Destructor into the Gene Stealers. How do you table him when you've still got other guys that still need to come? Oh yeah, you've st still got gargoyles to come, but I'm, 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 I'm so scared. <laughs> All right, so three shots, reroll one miss, that's three hits, we're only on threes. Three, four up and vulnerable saves, please, or he explodes in a cloud of mush. He explodes in a cloud of mush. He dead. He's super dead. He just took nine. Holy. He just took 18 wounds. 18! Boss. Okay. Boss? 
idiot. <laughs> no, learner. He's learning. He's doing all right. He took out some stuff. Okay, he took out the X to be fair. And twin Tesla destructors into the gene stealers, hitting on threes. Uh, Reroll one of those. Okay, so um, plus two, plus two. So that's eleven hits for ten shots. Wounding on threes. So one, two, three, four, five, five up saves, please. Oh yeah, he's on. So, four more die. Four more di gene stealers. Four more gene stealers die. There's a good chance. Toothpaste is leaving, and so is this guy. Ooh. It's rare for Toothpaste to be one of the people that leave the field for being the last. See, so it's these gene stealers here that started Jack on his journey of Tyranids. Because these were his uncles from a long, long time ago. That's where they're, they're painted differently to everybody else. And I can't imagine they're going to get repainted, are they? No, no, but this guy is the alpha. He has a dark blue head. That's the only difference. Only difference. Okay, so he's had his head painted to show that he's in charge. Mm -hmm. Because that's normal behaviour. With me, at least. Okay, so now Plasmance is going to shoot the Carnifex. So, D3 shots. Two shots. Hitting on fours because it is shooting and he's got his spore cysts. Gets to reroll one of those misses. One hit. It's over there. And wounding on. What's his toughness? Toughness for. Carnifex. I rolled a one anyway, don't worry about it. It was a seven anyway. Okay. So. We've got them left. What do we do with them? Do we charge them? I can just hold them up with the scarabs, and then I've got another another round of shooting. And because because there's less than ten, they don't even deal four attacks each. They now only deal three. I know. Because there's I know. Which I know. means they can deal a total of twenty-one attacks. Still, that's pretty formidable. So I think it's going to take me one more turn. You know what? I'm just charging them with everything. I've got the Carn effects left. These gene stealers. That's it. The rest. I mean, yes, there's the gargoyles to come. But again, my flyers are better than his. Um, so I'm going to do some charging. So first of all, Plasma Sight is charging the Carnifex. I have no flyers, I only have Frost He makes it. So let's start the fight phase. He can do a mortal wound there. Uh, where's the crit? I'm going to come back in a sec. Uh, warriors are charging. Oh, they want it bad. Really? <laughs> they want bile and chitin and gore, <laughs> not blood of these disgusting creatures. Um, scarabs are going in. Zip. Reanimator's going in. Uh, he wants it a lot less. Hang on. Yeah. It's like, nah, I can do, I can do without it. Yeah. He does not want it. Lord, again, he's just going to sit there and be all lord-like. Like, yes, minions, go and beat up the horrible aliens that have woken me from my slumber. And, right. So, I'm going to go first with the Plasmancer, because otherwise he's going to die again. It can only be happen once. But first of all, on a 4+, plus, Carnifex takes another mortal wound. Takes another mortal wound, so he's down to 2. Plasmancer is an electric boss. So I'm going to quickly check his stats and then we'll beat up a massive, massive monster. One attack. Hitting on threes. I'm going to <laughs> re-roll that with a command point. Still missed. And he used command point. Oh boy. Oh boy, he's in trouble. He tried. <laughs> to be fair, if he'd hit and wounded, um, he does a flat two damage, so he could have just killed him with that one attack. I, I didn't realise he only had one attack. <laughs> You thought he was way better, wasn't he, didn't you? No, he's, he is great, but you, you kind of it's fine, it's fine, me. it's fine, it's fine. Right, um, are you going to pay to interrupt? I don't have enough command points. Oh, you don't, do you? Right, scarabs. Four attacks. So that's two five-up saves, automatic wounds. Love scarabs. Two more teen stealers die. They get eaten from the bum out. Bum out? Well, the 
scabs behind them so they're nibbling on their bones. Oh, yeah. They go, they fly in, no, it's going too far. One, two, three, four. So that's nine warriors. No, sh- enough, enough, enough. I went too far. Uh, hitting on threes. Oh, they're hitting on twos because of uh, boss man. Rerolling one of those. Wounding on fours. Three more saves. Three more five up saves. We're going to lose three more. Two more. Two more gene stealers die. Heads chopped from their bodies, lifelessly falling to the floor. Not being wearing one of hats this time because these are just warriors, they're not destroyers. So, uh, three, six, nine attacks back before you run away. Oh, I can't believe he didn't do it. He's in so much trouble now. If he survives, and that's embarrassing for you. Eyes, no, I know. That's the thing. He's Hasn't got enough wounds. Oh boy. What, are you using scything talons or rending claws? Rending claws. Okay, so three misses and wounding on fours. You want those sweet sixes. Sweet sixes. <laughs> no wounds. Would that have made much right? Okay, just uh, just yeah, as an aside. So an re-roll those misses. If we had done siding hands. So two hits, two more hits. It would have been and roll again. She so would have done one wound, and I would have not saved, and then not got back up. So you would have killed one with Scything Talons. It, I knew it. Scything Talons are better for me, in my opinion. They're just my go-to. Okay, they're not. Uh, Con effects. So, five attacks. Oh, God. Plus a bone mace after. Yeah, I know. Hitting on threes. Four hits. Two wounds. Cut him in half again. <laughs> Except this time I, th- I feel he's stomped on his head. Or he's just, he's sulked and he's just sitting at home going, that was not fun. Right, morale for your gene stealers, please. Roll one dice. You pass. Yes! However, he is out of unit coherency. So he should disappear. But you're still learning. So I'm just going to say that you took off the guy from over here. Okay, Happy? Yep. Okay. Um, again, that was a pretty brutal turn from the awesome Necrons. So now we shall move to Tyranids, turn three, Revenge of the Gargoyles. <laughs> so in a mad, mad, last desperate attempt to do something, Carnifex is run over. He's going to join the brawl. Gargoyles have flown down like something from the birds. And the Carnifex goes back up a wound. Back up to three wounds, he does indeed. Um, okay, so shooting. So ten shots from these guys. What are they shooting at? They're going to shoot at that guy. The re- Canoptic Reanimator, please. Let's get the name right. So what are they hitting on? I can't imagine it's that great. Do a roll and then check. Yeah. Would that be BS? Yes. That that's, four, that's four plus. Yes, not the other meaning of BS. <laughs> okay. Oh, Oi. Hey, I didn't say it. Mm, close <laughs> enough. Right, wounding on fives. He is toughness five. <laughs> I did call you a bitch several times. Uh, no wounds. Uh, Absolutely nothing. Reanimator's like, what is that? <laughs> Touching me on my shoulder. That's the end of your shooting phase. Yep. What are you doing next? Now charge. Who are you charging with first? Charging with the carnivores because that's the only guy I can really charge with. You could charge with them. They have basically zero. Combat. They're okay. one in close combat, literally them punching something. Well, yeah, so that's what. Punch is really bad. That's what close. Right, so roll two dice to see if he gets into combat. Absolutely. Okay. So <laughs> he's in. Hello. Okay, so kind of effects first. So six attacks on the charge because he puts his head down. Oh, sorry. Roll one dice. Why roll one? No. Remember on the charge on the four plus, he does a mortal wound. Oh yeah. Living back. So have back. you got have you got six dice? Yep. Just get these out of the way. Okay. Wow. Okay, that's a very good roll. So all hit. Wounding on. Wounding on uh, strength six. Three. Uh, threes. Three roll hits of one and plus one attack. Wounding on threes. Okay, so that's 
five wounds at AP minus three, so that's five of them go down. So we've only got four up. And um, roll for his tail. Hit, roll to wound. Doesn't wound. So let's see for these five guys. They all get back up. And let me just position them. Well, that was disgraceful. Okay, so warriors are going to beat on the gene stealers. So that's nine attacks. I can't believe I rolled like that. So it's not a happy bunny over there. Yeah. Right, hitting on threes. No, still hitting on twos because my will be done. Reroll one of them. Wounding on fours. That's three five up saves. Does this end? I just have to make at least one to at keep least my easier squad alive. You make one. <laughs> I'll keep that guy. That guy? Yeah. Okay. The other two get to die. The other two get to die. Alright, Gene Steeler's next. Are you attacking the warriors or the scarab? I'm going to slash at your scarab. Go for it. Three attacks. What are you using this time? I'm going to use rending claws because okay. I think that's my only chance of killing. Two hits. He can't kill him. He can't do enough damage. And one wound. So he's now down to... You only had three attacks and he's got four wounds. So you couldn't kill him. So... Three attacks. One hit. Didn't wound. What's their leadership? Leadership of the gene stealers. Other side. Stealers... Elite nine. No, he's fine. Can't run away. <laughs> yeah, he... Um, He's got one less leadership than a swarm board. There we go. We are going to play this out. We are going to watch the Tyranids fall. Bloody horrible mess. Unless somehow I get really And now we move on to about round four. Necron turn four. Here we go. Okay, so... My will be done. It's going on the warriors again. Reanimation beam goes onto the warriors again. Um, oh, scarabs back up to full. Doom scythe back up to full. And now my next protocol is protocol three. Protocol of the vengeful stars. Each time model of this unit makes a ranged attack and on an unmodified wound roll of six, improve the armor penetration characteristic by that one. Or should I do the one no cover? I'm just going to do directive one. It does not really make any difference at this point. Um, so yeah, and we'll move on to my movement, I'll go from there. Okay, so Overlord's moved up, he wants the honour of killing the last Gene Stealer. I know there's a Khan effects there, but I think we can deal with that. Um, Royal Warden's moving up with his lads, and Canoptic Doomstalker, uh, sorry, not Doomstalker, I want a Doomstalker. Reanimator moved up a little bit there. Okay, let's shoot this boy down. We're going to let the Doom Scythes take the honour. Actually, you know what? Let's snipe him. Five sniper shots into the Carnifex. Ooh, hitting on twos. Ooh. All of them hit. Wounding on fives. That's two mortal wounds. So he's down to one. And three saves of four up. Come on. Bye. Oh. I absolutely love these guys. I'm getting more. I'm so getting more death marks. I, I have to. I can't wait till I've got enough of my dark guys to kill, so we can do a proper battle with them. It's going to be a while. He's, he's, next army he's collecting is Drukari. Dark Eldar, but Drukari. Um, but we're going to... We'll see what happens with that. Right. Royal Warden and, and his lads are going to take out the gargoyles, I reckon. So rapid firing from the Royal Warden, hitting on threes, three hits, and two dead. Okay, one second. And warriors into them, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So here's ten, and then I'll reroll four of them. Oh wow, that was awful. So luckily I've still got four more shots, and I can reroll one miss. Okay, so that's five. Wounding on threes. Uh, it's five dead. It's AP minus two, so you've got no armor against that. And just because they have nothing else to shoot at, 
the doom scythes are going to gang up together and put everything into them. So this is the two main weapons. Hitting on threes. Reroll one of them. So that's three. And there's three left. Twos. I'm going to command point that one. And last three are dead. Last three are dead. And now we'll move on to charging. Overlord charges into combat. Oh look, he makes it. Let's just check his stats. Okay, four attacks, hitting on twos. Reroll a miss. Winning on threes. One five up save. Saves it. I'm gonna spend a command point and blowing up the scarabs. So I'm actually down to four. You will suffer D3 mortal wounds. What does it mean by blowing them up though? They sacrifice, they latch on to you and blow up. <laughs> now I'd love to say that that is it, but I have agreed with numpty bollocks over there <laughs> that he can have his next turn. He's going to spend three command points on bringing back his unit of hormigants. So we'll see what that looks like. They're back. Now they try to charge. They failed their charge because they had to co they had to come on at least nine inches away from me, oh, yeah. so they failed their charge. Now we move on to the Necron turn. Do you want me to roll, or are you just going to take them off? Roll. Okay, that's Necron movement phase. Okay, that's the only movement I'm doing. Royal Warden. Three hits. Three dead. <sighs> Four. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Fourteen shots from the warriors. Eight hits. Three more dead. Big guns from both doom sides. Reroll one of them. And five dead. That's the squad. You That's the game. Good game. <laughs> right. That was funny. Um, personally, Jack, you should have taken turn one. You should have thrown yourself right up in my face and given me more to deal with. I just really wanted to see how Necrons went. That's why I took turn two, because yeah. I've never played against Necrons or seen a Necron battle before. Well, now you know. Yes, now I know. Turn one, definitely. If you can get up to me turn one, it's brilliant. But, you know, those Gene Steelers, honestly, were not as effective as they should have been. That was, that yeah. was really depressing to see that many of them get back up. And yeah. then you knocked five more down. <laughs> and then five more got back up. It was... <laughs> You got so lucky with that. Oh man, it's not luck, it's skill. Um, no, <laughs> it's, it's luck of the dice. The, the dice gods were on my side for that, but that was really fun. We That didn't end as quickly as I thought it was going to. You made it all the way to turn five. Um, again, you need to, I think personally for you, you need to not be distracted when I've got big stuff on the board. You've done this with my devil fish with my towel, now with the flyers. You really couldn't touch them. The exocrine, when it actually started shooting the stuff that was not them, it was doing really well. Yeah. So that was at least two turns of shooting that you wasted. Yeah. Um, to have killed your hive guard and your warriors in turn one, again, that's a huge chunk of points that you just didn't have. Uh, MVPs, for me, obviously, my doom size. I'm going to have to adjust this list a little bit to make it a little bit more balanced until Tyranid Codex comes out, because that was crazy. Actually, these guys were awesome. Just yeah, sat there, just popping off mortal wounds left, right, and centre again. You just did what my hive guard normally do. Yeah, except you didn't have to hide. They did it better. Um, got five mm, would have liked to have got the Scorpec Lord in combat, but there you go. Um, and I probably let the Gene Steelers live for a bit too long. I just blown up all the scarabs and and killed them. But that was good fun. Um, if you enjoyed that, please give us a like, subscribe. There's a lot more to come. Uh, next episode of Crusades coming up, um, and I'm going to crack out Battlefleet Gothic soon. Right, bye bye.